What if a star could be so dense that atoms themselves give up? A white dwarf is the hot core left after a sun-like star sheds its outer layers. It doesn't shine by fusion. Its weight is held up by electron degeneracy pressure, a quantum push that comes from packing electrons as tightly as nature allows. But there's a ceiling. Add too much mass and that pressure can't support the crush of gravity. This threshold is the Chandrasekhar limit. Cross it and the core gives way. How do you cross it? A white dwarf in a binary system can pull in gas from a companion star, or two white dwarfs can merge. As mass builds, the star's core gets denser and hotter until one of two things happens. In a carbon-oxygen dwarf, conditions can ignite a runaway burn that unbinds the star in a supernova. A near-standard brightness explosion we use as cosmic distance markers. In other cases, the core collapses into a neutron star, where matter is supported by neutron pressure instead. This quiet limit shapes the loudest events in the sky. It tells us which dying stars fade gently and which become mile-wide fireballs visible across galaxies. It anchors our measurements of the expanding universe and explains how some stellar corpses make the leap to even stranger forms of matter. At the edge of the Chandrasekhar limit, gravity and quantum rules meet and decide a star's final act. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe and comment below what you found most fascinating about this video.